crunching last week, David kept running into rock. He was able to scratch through most of it, but as we got closer to the shop, the rock kept getting bigger and harder. And it wasn't long before it was clear that he would not be able to scratch through it with his bucket. What we really needed was a rock hammer, and the rental place said it would be a week before we could get one, so we are waiting again. Well, earlier today, I bush hogged the backyard <laughs> behind the shop. So it looks a little bit better back here. And we're getting prepared to put the septic system in. So it's important for the guys to be able to see what the ground looks like, where they're gonna be digging and whatnot. But I still have one chore to do. Got this big pile of brush here that needs to be burnt up. So I'm gonna have me a little weenie roast. Yeah, it's been sitting here for a while, so it's pretty dry. Hopefully I'll be able to get this stuff to take off. Burning things down here in this part of the country is not always the easiest thing to do. It's a pretty good sized pile, taller than I am. I think this is going now. Just gonna let her burn where she wants. I brought the tractor over so I can push the pile up onto the wherever it's burning. So I'll let this go. Around here this is about the only way to start a forest fire. You gotta pile the whole forest up in a great big pile, let it dry out, then you can burn it. not often you see this. I think it's because I just mowed the grass. My iPhone shut off on me. I went and picked it up and it said, I'm too hot. I'm shutting down.
that tree is bugging me. I want that puppy to burn, so I'm gonna try something else here. Well, it's burning down pretty good. It's gonna take a while to cool down and finish burning up whatever is left there to burn up. Poor little Hackberry got some of his lin uh, leaves singed. That's okay, it's just a hackberry. Got thousands of them. <laughs> well, it's starting to get dark out. She's pretty much burned down to coals now, so I think I'll just leave her go overnight. Come back tomorrow and see what's left. Well, it's the next day now. Somehow, morning quickly turned into the afternoon before I finally got out here. But I've taken the tractor and pushed up the couple big pieces that were left. Not that they're all that big, but it's still hot enough, even, uh, what, 18 hours later, that I can start a fire with the coals. So that's about it. Fire's about done. Hope you enjoyed it. This wood was stacked up under the trees in a place where other weeds and plants could grow up all around it. It was stacked pretty tight, so it's in the process of beginning to rot out. Just as an experiment, I thought, well, let me stack it up in a way that uh, air can get through and the sun can get at it and let's see what happens. So I understand now why a lot of people have the kind of woodsheds that they do and obviously that's going to be something in our future. Got a little bit of digging done. I have to use the grapple to get these larger rocks out. Just can't get that big one there into the bucket. I'm not skilled enough for that yet. Keep these little pear trees from being overwhelmed and outcompeted. And uh, our experience so far is that bush hogging around them and, and trimming and whatnot, all it does is just opens up the field for more competition. So instead of doing all of that, we are going to try stomping and see if that helps. This is growing up in the space of what? two weeks when these little trees get bigger we will mulch around them we have a little bit of soil to smooth out here but we will mulch around the base of the trunk to uh, keep the competing grasses and whatnot out <laughs> Get that nasty clod of dirt. I am taking the shovel and just kind of scraping away from the edges. Try to get a feel for where the rock goes below the current grade, just in case I decide to take out a little bit more dirt before we landscape.
One thing that's amazing is this red dirt will flow out into your gravel, anything like that. You can see little spots of red down there. So it'll flow out there if the water's moving that direction, but it absolutely refuses to flow off of this rock when it rains. Yeah, it even sticks like in vertical spots there. It won't wash out. Crazy stuff. Tennessee dirt, man. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs>